Today's video is a bit of a fun one because I'm gonna be talking all about my tattoo experience. If you didn't know it, I recently got a tattoo. Well, it's not like that recent. It's a yeah, it's like a couple of months ago, a few months ago. Um, so I wanted to talk about what it's like to get a tattoo as a first timer. So if you've never had a tattoo, this could be the video for you if you're thinking about getting one. My most important tip is to really think about if you want a tattoo. I know it sounds cool and you think you want to get one, but you have to live with this on your body. So do you really, really, really want to get it? And I suggest actually drawing on you know, what you're thinking of getting onto your body. Just use a marker or a pen or something and just draw it on and just live with it. Like just walk around with your drawing on your arm or your leg or wherever you wanna get your tattoo because um, I think that's a really good way to get used to it. I didn't draw this on my arm, but I drew a shape on my arm um, just so I could get used to having like ink there. And uh, I did that for a couple of weeks before I got this done. So I kind of knew what I was getting myself into. As far as placement for a tattoo, you really wanna think about if you are prepared to have it on show all the time. And that's every single situation in your life, people will be able to see it. For me, I wanted to have it be on show, but also not have it be too in your face. So I kind of got this on the back of my arm. So if my arm is down, you can't see it, obviously. Um, but if I like raise my hand or raise my arm, then you can see it. So for me, that works perfectly because, you know, it's just, it's kind of casual. It's kind of casual there. If you've decided that you definitely, definitely, definitely want a tattoo, I suggest doing as much research as possible. Take months doing research if necessary. You really need to make sure that you find a tattoo artist that can do what you want them to do. You need to find a tattoo artist that is on your wavelength, someone that can really do the style of tattoo that you want them to do. Something I found really useful was to look at a bunch of tattoo artists' Instagram pages because you can see all of the variety of the stuff that they've done. And a lot of tattoo artists use their Instagram as kind of like a portfolio. So it's really handy to kind of go through that. And it can also give you ideas on placement and you know it can show you different styles that maybe you wouldn't have thought of before. So you found the tattoo artist, now it's time to book it. So don't be surprised if your tattoo artist is booked for months and months in advance. I know for me, it took me about three months just to get in contact with the girl who did my tattoo, which was fine with me because, you know, it's gonna be on my body for a long time, well, probably forever. Um, so I was, I was kind of willing to wait. As far as actually going through the experience of a tattoo, I was prepared for the worst. I thought it was gonna be so painful, but to me, it wasn't at all. Um, it isn't like the most pleasant feeling, obviously. It basically feels like a continuous scratch down your skin with like a very fine needle, which I guess is technically what is happening, but it's kind of like a cat scratch. The thing with it that's annoying is that it never stops. It's like continuous scratching and it just is kind of more irritating than anything. Some areas of the body will hurt more or less than others, but yeah, this area of my arm was kind of fatty so it didn't really hurt that bad. I'm trying to film a video about my first tattoo. Actually, speaking of tattoos, Reggie actually has tattoos. Baby, come here. Since um, Reggie was a racing greyhound, he has these like tattoos in his ears because that's kind of like how they keep track of them. So actually, Reggie, I think you can take it over from here. What was your first tattoo experience like? Okay, not the most articulate, are you? So after my tattoo was finished, the tattoo artist kind of bandaged it up, and I was kind of feeling fragile afterwards. I was like, oh, did I do the right thing? This is, by the way, I'm trying to film, and he's just, he just is just dying for snuggling. Um, I was like, what did I do? Did I do the right thing? Like, it was kind of like one of those moments, like when I dyed my hair, I was like, did I really need to do that? <laughs> um, but after a few days, I got used to the fact that this tattoo was on my body and I loved it then and I love it now. And I think that's the important thing to remember about tattoos. Like if you decide to get one, just remember why you decided to get it. And you know, it's, it's I love it. I absolutely love my tattoo. The healing process took for me about, 
I'd say two to three weeks. Um, it is kind of annoying because it scabs over the lines. So for me, there is a scab over every single line of my tattoo and it's itchy. Like it's like a, a normal scab. You just want to like scratch it off, but you can't because if you scratch the tattoo, the actual ink will come off with the scab. So, you know, you don't want to do that. And then, you know, you can have like little bits and pieces of your tattoo missing, which I actually do have, but I think that's kind of normal. Like sometimes you'll need to go in and get a few places like touched up. So I hope that helped if you're thinking about getting a tattoo. I suggest thinking really, really long and hard about it and beware, it is as addictive as people say. I honestly thought I would never want to get more than one tattoo. And now that I've had this for a couple months, I'm like, oh, maybe I should just like even it out and get something done on this arm. But my mom would absolutely kill me. Yes, I'm almost 26 and I'm still scared of my mom. But uh, we will just see what happens with that. So I hope this video helped you out. Let me know if you do decide to get your first tattoo and tell me what your experience was like and I will see you very soon on TLC Me.